in the 80s, 80s, I was bigger than big. Bigger, bigger than Sears. There's implants. Now look at me. Have I ever told you about the 80s, the 80s, the 80s? You go. Think about it. Previously on Puma Plays. I'm really curious to see if they're actually gonna do anything cool with the 80s aspect. No, they don't. I can't even explore shit. It just screams at me. I will meet you in the daycare. This puzzle did turn out to be as bullshit as I thought it was gonna be. Is the neurotic robot stuck again? You are banned from the daycare! You didn't see the dancing rabbit lady right in front of us? I'm not gonna last five minutes! I hope you like these pictures. I think the gingerbread animals came out really well, by the way. We should get moving. You can access the main atrium with your new security badge. Also, it's like, I thought we get these other robots would have like personalities alongside Freddy, but it's like, no, he's different, I guess. I'm different. And yeah, the, I guess the portal comparisons are kind of unavoidable with this kind of topic, right? I mean, both are kind of now puzzle games. With essentially an AI, so... Yeah, I was kind of thinking, again, this game needs the fucking Valve thing where it needs to be playtested to shit, so, so you have actual areas that make sense where plays naturally go, Ah, so this is where I have to go. Gregory, I have identified two possible exit points. The main loading dock is located under the food court on the first floor. There is also a fire escape in the third floor prize counter. Check your fast watch. I will mark both locations on your fast map. As then Garvey's gonna mark those fast settlements on my fast map. One from the greeter on the center balcony. Did he get dirtier? I think he did. That was quick. Have you ever heard of Among Us, Gregory? Hi. Please take this map. Okay, now you're taking the piss! Now you're Thank taking you. the piss! Please enjoy. Free map. What the fuck is wrong with you? Or what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh. Am I gonna have to shuffle through all of this? This is terrible. Find the loading dock on the first floor, frame up. Level three. What he was talking about? Oh, this is the ground floor, this is the station. Look how, look how vast these maps are. How, how big is this game supposed to be? Unlocked area, locked area. Locked area party pass? What the fuck is that? First floor food court. Prize counter. Would be nice if I actually knew where the prize counter is. It turned out to be down here. Thanks for making big open complex maps with no labels or objective markers guys. Really appreciate it. Good news. It looks like the door to El Chips is open. El Chips? I hate myself for saying it like that. Buyer's item, Jesus Christ. Aww. Again, looks very open, doesn't it? Is, is this just fucking Five Nights at Bioshocks? 
Are you lost? Oh. It's like, are they, are they not just treating the jump scares as as like a, a funny thing? Because I, I like that even less. I like that even less. Oh god. Well done, Gregory. You are in the East Arcade. You should be able to get to the prize counter through the security office. Look for the door with the security badge symbol on it. I was gonna make a funny comment about binary gender roles. Fuck you. I mean, I can't tell what's worse. Me not getting to fulfill that joke. Or me actually getting to make that joke. Hmm. Cringe. It's like, I wanna compare this to games like Amnesia. Like, those games are really good. In terms of, like, horror. Like, I can't play them. They're that good. I guess I am the kind of person who would rather play this. Oh god, I've become the thing I hate. I thought this was gonna go like one of two directions. I thought this was gonna go into the like... Like now that these characters are all sentient, they, they, they can all talk. But you know, just the fact that it's just fucking Glamrock Freddy. It's like, that's worse, cause they just say the same meaningless phrases. Oh, fuck off! Sneak away. Capital T and that rhymes with T and that stands for cool. This is literally just furry art. Freddy, it's not opening. How unfortunate. Head past the superstar cave wall to the back of the arcade. There is a roll-up door at the very back which leads to the prize counter. Back of the arcade. What is considered the Fuck you! Fuck you, asshole! Scream at me. It's all just coin ops, just generic like stick things. Again, this feels like an arcade as made by people who've never been to an arcade. Must be that place. Where am I supposed to walk? Collect? Click what? I guess. I knew it! Can I go now? No! No, not until you learn the proper FNAF lore, sir! <sighs> That's like the worst thing between like a roguelike and a fucking horror game. It's more like a sneak game. Like a sneakathon. Don't be Again, hangry. Sneak away, little coward. Sneak away, little coward. I love how they have so few lines that they literally just repeat everything. This is gonna turn around. You're not an actual wolf. Why are you sniffing? It all made sense when it, when they were just had dead children inside of them. Like these robots have no personality. I thought you could like to get to talk to them and see them in like a not shitty state, but it's I guess not. Oh, here's the music man thing. Yes, 
You know what? I want to be positive. This was actually the best horror moment so far. Call me to court and call me judge, because I, f I am f just fucking dreading this. Actually, gonna force me into a fucking situation like that, isn't it? You think you're better than me? I know I am. Didn't even appear there. It for it actually does force me to the shitty gameplay. I thought it would finally elevate itself beyond the, the garbage gameplay, but it's like no, it forces it in here anyway. Wait. You can't outrun me. Oh my god! Again, still not scared. Still not scared. Just dreading. Just dread. All done. See, go to the back of the prize counter. The fire escape is in the VIP room. Oh no, 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 no! Ah, fuck me! No, 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 don't force me to do it again. What if I just I literally just sit here? All I did was take the Wait a minute, no, then he's gonna go from here, oh well. Whenever I read the word superstar, I just think of, of the fucking Mario Odyssey song, Jump Up Superstar. It has nothing to do with anything, but fuck it. I can help. You think you're better than me? All done. See? That was not so bad. If the path looks clear, head to the prize counter. Go to the back of the prize counter. The fire escape is in the VIP room. Are you hungry? Oh, that, wait, oh my god, it's gonna be a security level 10, isn't it? Is this literally just this over and over again? Yeah, if it, if it didn't take so long. Oh my god, I can't even hide from this. Like, where am I supposed to go? Go to the back of the prize counter. The fire escape is in the Which one's gonna jump skin me first? Are you Ah. I don't know, maybe they are actually gonna try actually trying to help. You don't know what happens after those jump scares. Again, I'm fucked. You can't hide forever. You can't fuck and the eye of a gator is busted. Gonna stand there? Yes, yeah. I bet I'm your favorite. Why would you even care? It's like none of these monsters have any kind of fucking intelligence. None. They're just spouting spooky phrases. That's the worst kind of like fucking video game monster I hate. Oh my god. What the fuck am I supposed to do? 
Yeah, jump scare me. Go fuck yourself. It's still not scary. I hate life. I hate this. Seriously, I... Like, who knows? Who knows what's going on after those fucking drum scares? What's they even doing? Are they, are they eating you? Are they killing you? They're just jumping at you. I, I guess this is vague enough for Mr. Christian, man. If I had more personality from the fucking random splices in Bioshock. Remember how fucking focused that was? Remember how you could like have actual characters with actual backstories like those fucking splices in the cashmere restaurant? Like remember those like one knocking at the door and then like if you killed one of them, the other one would be asking what's going on? That's what I'm missing here. Like I want to get through these locations because they're so big and empty. And it's not fun. Wait a minute. This is the stupid big doors. Meaning it's probably gonna be actually open. This fucking thing. Don't be scared. Fuck you, I just saved. I would love it to just have a fucking gun. That's what I wished. That's, remember when I, in the last episode where I said, or like, I don't know, I'm gonna cut this. I'm just gonna say it's the last episode, but it's the, you know, the first one I released, number one. Where I said, hey, wouldn't it be fun to run these assholes over with go-karts? I still stand by that. I still wanna do that. God, what a horribly designed game. Damn, what a mess. Wait, I saw. Also, I gotta address this. Why is he wearing a space thing while being naked? Naked. I mean, I guess I do take some balls. You know, the ones that you don't have. Ah. You found the fire escape. Unfortunately, I. Also, it locks me just into the sequences. It is I hate not it. a very good emergency system. You are lucky there is not a fire. Fuck off. I have lodged a formal complaint. Freddy, the doors are all locked. I can't get out of here. Get to the elevator. Find a safe path on your fast watch. I can help. Please help me. Please kill me. What am I supposed to do? You reckon this would be better if you were played it with somebody else? You want me to play this with Daniel? I think I now figured out my recording software. I probably could make that happen. Alright, I'm gonna see if he's on. Oh, <laughs>